Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to learn how to add and subtract radical expressions. And yes, there are some specific rules that we need to be aware of in order to do it correctly. What are those rules? Well, it turns out that you can only add or subtract radical expressions if the radicals in the expressions are like radicals. They're also called similar radicals. So what makes radicals alike? They're alike if they meet these two conditions. They are radicals that have the same index and the same radicand. So if they're going to be like radicals, they must have the same index and they must have the same radicand. Now what is the index and what is the radicand? Well, the index is basically the root of the radical. The radicand is what's inside the radical sign. So if those are the same, for example, we have an x squared and x squared here, so the radicals are the same, and it's a cube root and the cube root, so the index is the same, then you can either add or subtract, so then it's legal to do so. So in this case, notice we have three of these minus two of these. So what's inside the parentheses, it's what makes them alike, and so those are called like radicals. And so if three of them, we subtract two of them, so you end up with just one of those, so we have one of the cube root of x squared, and of course we don't have to write one time, so we could simply write it as the cube root of x squared without the one in front, but that is how we're able to add, or in this case, subtract them. Those two things are the same, then you go ahead and add and subtract. If you follow those basic rules, you will not make any mistakes. Well, hopefully not. And that is how it's done.